Hey y'all, welcome to Ultimate DIYer. And I have something really cool to show you today. I've got this Leviton Decora switch. Very cool, right? Well, they have a new one. It's new and improved. It's called Leviton Decora Edge. So at first glance, they look pretty much the same. The only difference is the little knockout plates in the front. Well, that's, you know, no big deal. You snap those off. It's just a cover plate. What's really cool is look at your original plug. It has the ends for screwing the wire in, but check this out. If you look at the back, there's no screws. Instead, I have levers. When I pull the levers open, I have actually now got a plug that is a Wago. But what I'd like to show you is just how different these are and how much more time it takes to wire this up versus wire this up. All right, so when I have a traditional one, basically what I'm going to have to do is my wire nets need to be loose, which these already are. And I have a gold and I have a silver. Silver is what I consider my white, which is my common wire. Gold is going to be my black wire, which is my hot. And I have one other spot, which is green. That's my earth ground. Now, this is how most people will take these. They'll just slide the wire in and crank that nut down and it'll hold but that wire can fall out, so I never do that. I will take my pliers. I have a favorite pair of needle nose that I use. I start bending in the center a little, bend it around a little more, make myself a hook. Now there are other ways you can make that hook. You can even, unlike a lot of your strippers, have a hole in it for that hook, and you can hook it that way too. I just tend to prefer my method. I'm used to it and done it that way for years. So I'm gonna take this hook and I'm gonna hook it onto the wire, and now I can screw that down, but I even take it one step further. To make sure it never comes out, I use my needle nose again, and I will clamp that down into this, make a really tight circle or loop. And now, tighten it down till it's nice and snug. Now I've made that connection, and there's no way that wire is ever gonna come out. So I have to repeat that same process for my common. Now you always make sure that your wire is going to be facing in the same direction you turn the screw, which is clockwise. So if I put it the opposite way like this, when I go to screw the screw in, it's gonna push my wire down and off. So make sure, there I go again, Mr. Clumsy. Put the wire on, use my needle nose, and I bring that wire closed. If I can do this where you can see it on the camera. So now I have a loop, it can't fall out, and I tighten it down. Always make sure that that nut is extremely tight. You don't want to break it, but you don't want it loose. When it's loose, it can cause that plug to heat up and possibly cause a fire, so it's very important. So there's my neutral, there's my hot. I have one more connection to make, which is going to be my bare earth ground. This wire will have no insulation on it at all. That's normal, that's what it's supposed to do. You will take that wire and same thing, put it clockwise, put it on. I still loop, do the same thing with this one. I pull it around, make my close my loop, and I tighten it just like so. So now that plug is, pl is wired in and I can set it inside of the receptacle box. Okay, so now the other one is going to be this new quick connect type of plug. So how does this one go together? Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and make this even a little harder on it. I'm going to have, I'm going to strip my wires and show you how fast that they strip. So even stripping these, it's still going to be quicker than wiring up the others. Open up both of my neutral, the black wire, my hot, stick it in the back hole, and close the little clamp. Same thing, close the clamp, grab my earth ground, open it up, slide it in, close the clamp, and now every wire is firm and, and connected, and I just put it in the box. It's that quick. The one other thing that's really interesting about this plug is it has a wire gauge on the side. If you look in the corner, it's a little notched area, and in that notched area, you will put your wire in it, and as long as the insulation comes to the very end of it, 
that's that's how far you need to strip that wire back so when you put it in the the opening in the back no bare wire can stick out and shock someone so on a traditional plug you do have a stripping wire also but it's not quite as nice as the one on that one it's a little arrow in this on the side on the back side and you have to put your wire up there and make sure that it makes it just the end of the wire and then you can loop around but i always make these a little longer anyway because i like to crimp them around it and make sure i have that really good connection so i don't use it very often on this plug but i probably would a lot more on this plug now some of you are going to be saying to yourself who played with electrical before and messed with plugs well there is a quick connect on the back of that plug and there is there's little holes four of them but there's a couple disadvantages to those holes first of all it works really great if i put a number 14 wire in which it'll go in but now i have a very hard time getting that wire out there's a little release button you have to go get a really small needle nose type of a screwdriver to put down inside of there to break that loose to get that wire out where on this one if i need to rewire i just pull the switch and i'm done that fast there's also another big disadvantage to this well there's actually two but there's uh, another big disadvantage so if i take a heavier gauge wire like the number 12 i can't get it inside of that hole because this plug is rated at 15 amps they figure this wire can go up to 20 so they don't cut that hole big enough to be able to put that wire in so if you overwire your house and put heavier duty wire for any future uh, reason in case you're going to have a high draw in that area you can't use the plug you can't use that little hole any longer and this plug the number 12 will slide right in and close and it's in there and it's, it, it'll work so that's a big advantage for this plug there is another thing that's real important too here if you've stripped those wires and you have put this in correctly it's very hard for kids to stick anything in the side or you reach inside or touch this and get shocked like you would on a normal plug on a normal plug especially if i'm in a metal box i have to come back with electrical tape and run some tape around this before I install it to be safe just like this which also kind of helps if I've got kids reaching in there and trying to uh, poke things in there they st you still have to protect these but they actually have plugs if you have kids that will cover some of these and make it hard for them to do that but this makes that plug a lot safer if somebody's got a cord plugged into it from a vacuum and they're ripping it out of the wall without reaching over and unplugging it, they could twist that plug and ground it out on a metal uh, case. You're not going to have that happen with this one. The other thing that uh, I do not like about the little pins in the back sticking the wire directly in the back is a lot of electricians don't trust those because they're afraid of them heating up and, and causing a fire and i'm kind of the same way because i've pulled some of these plugs out that have been in for years and the wires are very wiggly and loose which i don't trust that well, at thank all. you for watching and i'm hoping you got something out of this if you know a little bit more about this and you've used this product be sure and leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are and how it's worked for you let me know if you actually believe in the lever system the, the wago type system i'd really like to hear your comments one thing to keep in mind on these also that i forgot to mention is the Decora. You can get that at Home Depot just walking into the store right now. But the Decora Edge, the new ones, you have to order them through their, their online ordering system. Uh, they'll come in a pack of 10. It'll run you about 20 bucks for, for uh, a box of these. But I will say this, it will definitely save you some time. And to me, time is money. And it also makes it a little easier for the DIYer. Thank you again for watching.